Hello, my name is Mary Van Hooser. I'm a Credo board member, but also a Credo alumni. My first Credo festival was in 2001, and I loved it so much, I went three more times after that. Credo was pivotal in shaping how my Christian faith informed my music making, helping me see that music was not just a career path, but it can also be a ministry. Credo helped me see being a musician as vocational work. 20 years later, Credo's vision continues to fuel my work and creativity. Though currently unemployed, I continue to use my musical gifts for the glory of God and the edification of my local and online communities. And just as we learned from our experience at Credo, we can serve in more ways than just playing our instruments. It's in this spirit that I've also volunteered to help out in various things, especially during this COVID season. And that includes offering a reading club with women at church because I think English literature is worth the effort, just like classical music. But to the point, I'm here today to share some thoughts with you as we look forward to this new year. And I should add that most of these thoughts have been very much inspired with, uh, from conversations with my mom, who is from the south of France and a very wise woman, as many moms are. January for me is a season of new beginnings. And as such, I like to spend some time to think and ponder. So for the next few moments, I would like to invite each of us now to take some time to slow down and reflect. We are now in the season of Epiphany. And traditionally, this is the day and season in which we recognize the wise men's visit to the baby Jesus. Epiphany is a season in the church year when we patiently watch and listen as God is quietly revealed before us once again. This season can provide us with the opportunity to slow down, reflect, and remember the hope and the comfort of Emmanuel, God with us, and celebrate his presence in our hearts anew, even as we did just a few weeks ago on Christmas Day. I would like to introduce you to a little guest I brought with me today. This is a Santon meaning little saint, from the traditional Provençal crush scene. And this little santon also happens to be a wise man. He joined the, the crush on January 6. And as I thought about this wise man, and I placed him in the manger, uh, in the manger scene, I couldn't help but see a connection between his story and the credo motto. So let's take a look at that. Acknowledge the source. The source is God. Another way of saying this might be praise God or give God glory. And this is exactly what the wise men do in the nativity account. They come to praise baby Jesus. Develop the gift. Can you imagine how the nativity story would have developed had the wise men not done their part? If they had chosen not to pursue the star, if they had not listened to God's warning to return home by another road. Respond with service. Though they are kings, they bow down and offer their service and their allegiance to Jesus, a newborn, a helpless baby. They are kings, but they place themselves in the king's command. According to the traditional Provençal, Southern French, account of the Nativity, the wise men are not the only characters who bring gifts to baby Jesus. All the inhabitants in the village come to Jesus with gifts. Not many are rich, but they all bring something, and they bring what they have. The miller brings his bag of flour. The baker brings his bread. And the musician brings her instrument. This is a hurdy-gurdy. This little musician figures very prominently in our home because I am also a hurdy-gurdy player, as an aside. <laughs> we could have a whole other session just on that. But they each bring something. And though each brings only one item, the village together creates a feast, dancing, music, a celebration. God has called each of us to bring a gift to baby Jesus.
What can I bring? This reminds me of Christina Rossetti's poem. Most of us know it as a Christmas carol in the bleak midwinter. And it was set to music, I think, by Gustav Holst, among others. But this is what the last stanza says. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. But what I can, I give him, give my heart. So as we prepare to leave the manger, and we head back to our ordinary routines in this new year, let us remember what the season of Epiphany can teach us, to rediscover the revelation of the Christ child, offering him what we have, whether our gift be a basket of garlic cloves, some kindling to light a fire, a homemade meal for a neighbor in need, or a musical instrument. We all have something to offer. So let us follow the example of these little santons, these little saints, and together, as fellow Cradites, acknowledge the source, develop our gifts, and respond with service. <laughs>